I know a man who came through a woman who hadn't intimately known a man. You see, he has a father who totally surrendered him to be crucified for you, me, for us. Despite our flaws, his love endured. I mean, this man had the power to call down fire on those that gave him up to be hung. But it was all part of the plan. All along and until now, his father God so loved the world, us, that he gave his only begotten son, him, to die for us. So I don't know what your past looks like or if it doesn't make you smile, but one thing I'm sure of is that Christ died for the sake of you and I, and so you and I won't end up in the lake of fire. So even if you stop feeling like you're God's child, remember, the heavens rejoices over your repentance. It has been waiting patiently, earnestly for you to fall back into the ends of your father. So you see that man telling you you are damned, wearing you his garments of shame, making, his feel, his, making you feel it's insane to bow down again at the feet of Christ, telling him you've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. If he says your sins are too grievous to be forgiven by Christ, tell him Christ has paid the price and remind him that Christ forgives every sinner who truly confesses and forsakes their sins. So who is he to say otherwise? If you're trying to pray, praise, and that voice of shame keeps echoing sin, rebuke it with the word. You are now a new creature. All things are passed away. So bear this in mind. Your redemption in Christ has been signed, sealed, and delivered. <laughs>